Hello, everyone, and welcome back. 2018, 38 rounds uh, in one game. Quite a bit to deal with, but uh, we've swapped out our casters here. The Hound taking a break after that one. He needs to recharge the batteries. Mm -hmm. I've been left out here. I think uh, that one just <laughs> recharged myself. But Secret Strike, as well as Gideon right next to me. That is not the Hound, mm -hmm. unfortunately. Don't uh, worry about it. But Gideon, how's it feeling? How's it feels it? it feels honestly good to not be casting a Toadot game. It's actually seeing, you know, first-person perspective of what's going to be going on into the mind of some of the two teams that are really going head to get head against each other Ooh, boom they're looking good but after that game i don't even know what to say like they have to be dealing with fatigue as they're going up yeah. against boom it's it's tough so here's the thing you, you might be sitting there in chat and going what are you talking about i queue up valorant game after valorant game after valorant game mm -hmm. and you might be right and these guys do too when they're playing competitively but when they're playing for professional with twenty five thousand dollars on the line that's a whole lot of different stress especially mm -hmm. for uh, six overtime rounds in a row seven seven, seven. overtime you, rounds in a row thank you yeah <laughs> I mean, that's just got to have some fatigue. So we'll take a look and see how they can get it done as we will be going over to Bind. AG going to be on the attacker side here. Let's take a look at their Asian layout here for AG. We've got a Sova, Jets, Rays, a Brimstone, and the Cypher. Yep, followed up by Boom. They're going to be going on that Sova, Breach, Brimstone, Phoenix, as well as Jet. I personally like the Phoenix this time around. Like, you know, in the first half of the day, we weren't mm. seeing too many of them. Now they're popping up a lot more. Do you I like mean, it on defense first? Well, I mean, honestly, I just like I, I just like the Agent in general more than I like it on certain parts of Fair the enough. map. But, you know, he has its best benefits and especially with his ult it's not like uh it's not like oh what's her name reyna yes mm -hmm. with her ult is so dependent on getting those kills at uh, least there at least this way you use your ult you can get something out yeah, of it no yeah. matter what it's like why yolo lee likes jet because she's korean <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's that's not that's a fair <laughs> argument. Pedro <laughs> Kick, he's going to be rotating on through very aggressively along with everyone else. So, A, they're going to know something's coming now that they've not scouted anyone. They're just going to check Hookah, do their due diligence, check in window just to double check, but already the uh, Brim smokes being dropped, and we should see the bomb here planted very quickly. Yeah, I think uh, this is a very standard line play. The Aftershock comes wow. up, unfortunately, they didn't check U-Haul this time around. If they get pincered out, they still haven't dropped the spike just yet. They're nope. making sure that the smokes are covering their tracks. The Cypher is still hiding in the smoke as well down at U-Haul. Yeah, stimmed up here as well with the Ghost. is actually pretty effective here, but it's going to be all up to Asterisk. I mean, how do you even cue dances? This is AG. They, they just played 38 rounds in a row. They you can clutch this one no problem here. Uh, but let's see how, what can get going. He's going to get one. Missing the peak there. Asterisk with a little bit of a smoke of his own. He's going to now go for the fake defuse. Oh, he had the reticle lined up. But of course, no way to know. That's the first round here for AG. Yeah, I don't think it was a very smart idea to be standing directly on top of the bomb. As, mm. uh, sorry, the spike. Mm. Especially since after he tapped it, he probably wanted to stand at a little bit of an off angle. Because at this level, pros just know exactly where you're going to be. Despite the smoke, they just need any kind of information or an indication that you're there. Mm. Good shot by Super Sis. He's been uh, practicing his V hop in a bit, showing us how it's done. But yeah, indeed, I, I actually completely agree with you. And uh, well, we'll see if they, they want to try and change that up a bit. Of course, one V two at that point is going to mm -hmm. be a bit difficult for him to try and get the diffuse on. But uh, it's just good form, right? It's, yeah. it's good to get into that habit to be doing stuff like that as sushi boys. The boom buddy oh. hiding on and will turn the corner. Get shot quite a few times actually as Blaze King. A nice crossfire set up here with the shorty for the phoenix uh but i think they know that there's way too many people in there they might still actually go for it there's the jet pack not doing too much damage i think they can assume that there's two people because somebody shot the boom bot immediately they know for a fact somebody is hiding at the back uh, at the back half of hookah mm. so there's no real point because they could easily with, with two people you could easily set up a crossfire unless oh. you take them out with the paint cans from yeah. rays as they rotate towards a Ooh. i'm really surprised that actually they rotated everyone over here on the side of boom it might be a, a little bit of an over over rotation, but Tay, he's gonna get the first blood of this round in round two as they look to drop the spike back onto the default plant on A. 
I mean, I I get the I get the idea, right? You're mm -hmm. they're they're loaded up with anti eco. You have to do something aggressive, but I don't know. I don't know if you can really expect your enemies to try and play into your hand when they know you've got maybe five shorties. Mm -hmm. Yeah, especially it's so early on into the rounds. It's like you don't have to risk it just yet. And yeah. luckily they didn't force buy into it and walk into a bunch of shorties. Yeah, exactly. Here as we see Sushi picking off one with a pistol for AG. Spy continuing to tick away as they're doing the due diligence now through the U-Haul. One spray down, two spray down, but it's going to be AG taking the round 2-0. Two, two, no real surprise there, but a good effort as they're only able to get one pick. Mm -hmm. That's only going to be one Spectre loss as they slowly start upgrading. They're probably not going to be selling, uh, upgrading uh, their Spectres into either Phantoms or Vandals at this point in time. Don't need to waste your credits if you don't have to. Yeah. Make sure you're just maximizing your Econ. Definitely. I, I think maybe there's a case to be made maybe on like uh, a really defender sided map right mm -hmm. just because you need that extra little bit of damage from long range maybe if you're on something like a haven but here i think you can get away with the more closer range encounter so we'll see how ag decides to approach this one now as we take a look at our drone shot above the rafters Mm -hmm. Once again, Raze, she's going to be looking to clear out Hookah once again, dropping oh. down her Roomba, making sure she's clearing out that room, okay? It doesn't beep off, so at least they know for a fact, okay, Hookah is generally going to be really clear unless somebody was standing on top of those boxes. So, again, somebody needs to get some kind of visual uh, visual cue mm -hmm. to know for a fact that there isn't anybody. And you can see Raze, she's just holding her position. She doesn't yeah. want to do anything just yeah. yet. The Jets don't want to hold DNA, though, so it's going to be a strong hold out from Boom as the crouch right underneath the bullet. What I'm saying is that you all have to dodge the bullet when it comes down to it here. But yeah, the Boomba not finding anything there is going to uh, force them to try and rotate around. As Sushi now lurking on, he might be able to get the jump here onto the Phoenix. Will he see it coming? Checking his dude corners. Oh my god, that was a little sloppy there, but it's going to be the Phoenix getting the kill after all. Mm -hmm. So now they know for a fact that there's a lurker, they're going to be real careful for the side of AG. They only have two agents left. They go all looking to try and take out Blaze King yep. here. Unfortunately, loses that trade off. They're going for the run and they have the spike. They, <laughs> they could look to just plant the spike at the extra credits left. and back off. Yeah, exactly. They're going to go now bonking on through the port. And, uh, well, a little cap is going to be a, probably a little bit scared knowing that they're chasing him so efficiently. But he's going to be now making an effort back towards B. He actually could get them planted here. Yeah, a 13. Oh, this is going to be tight. It's going to be real tight. He's going to do it as soon as he gets it. He's going to yeah. stop dropping the bomb right about now. Right. Okay, he's got time. He's got time. Whew. He's got it. They've actually teleported right, right, right back right. over. So, hey, extra credits here for the team, even if you don't get the win. Maybe a little bit more econ damage to come through. I think this is going to be pretty nice for AZ all things considered. Oh, he's got the ultimate this as well. Oh. And he's going to get only one. Wow, Asterisk. I would love to see that from his perspective. Yeah. Of course, the uh, that does end up pushing you there, the showstopper. So, a really nice pick overall, but it's going to be Boom finally claiming the first round. I mean, there was a good opportunity that he could just flick his way instead of looking for the Sova, but looking at the mass amount of people just clumped mm -hmm. up together in Hookah. That might have been able to chunk out quite a few and maybe yeah. even get a double kill. That would have been so huge that round. Yeah. A good opportunity, but an even better operator than for AG. Just about sums up that round, and Asterisk is going to hold on to the OP. I mean, overall, Econ's looking pretty healthy here. This is where both teams are going to get real sweaty against each other because if they win <laughs> this one, the next round is just going to be that much easier. Nah, you're absolutely right. As I guess this raise is not really going to have the money here, unfortunately. No one dropping them a weapon, so it's uh, somewhat, it's like a half buy out from AG then. And some people are going to be trying to save that money. Yeah, and raise, I mean, she's going to be holding on to the spike here. Ooh, doesn't look like they're going to shoot through the smoke, uh, especially when there's an alt orb there, but they're going to back away back into the B side. Yeah, and that's going to now give him the run it back here. So he's probably going to be looking to try and get an excuse to use it this round just to maximize that efficiency because when you do die, you're going to get another point. So let's see if you can find a use case for this here. And uh, as you said, I think both teams are looking for any edge they can get to win this round. And Asterix is going to give Boom uh, just that one-man uh, advantage. Unfortunately, Cypher is going to be taken out by Jet here for, uh, from You're Boom dead. as they look to rotate Jet to B site, knowing that there's a good amount of people. They don't know exactly how many people are sitting outside of B, but you know, sooner or later somebody's gonna get picked off, and that's exactly what's happening here. Mm -hmm. Oh, asterisk there on the sushi boys. He's gotta be a little bit upset. I know for those first few rounds of overtime, he was playing very aggressively there with the operator. Got a nice shot here earlier, but uh, still ends up losing the operator duel as Boom Esports now. They're gonna lurk on through 
Tay. Oh, wow. 30 seconds Lashers. left. I barely even saw him, if I'm going to be honest with you, Gideon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, Seelong is just an absolute killing floor here as they look to surround this race. Mm -hmm. Only has the Spectre waiting for the teleporter. Oh, doesn't come out. The Aftershock, and finally the fight begins. And unfortunately, this time, the Phantom trumps the Spectre mm -hmm. once again. Good job by Notorious, keeping his space. They knew that the last one was going to be that Spectre from previously, as Boomwell even uh, up to a piece going into our fifth round with a nice eco advantage. Mm. I, I, I wonder if they're going to try whoa. that again. I mean, they're already trying to set up to... Uh, it looks like they're going to set up for B once more, but they it could easily change their mind. There's like still a good amount of time left. Tay has bought as well, actually. Full armor and a Vandal. We'll see if he's actually sold that off, because he's really the only one on the team that can afford that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, and I mean, like, in terms of the ultimates as well they've got Brimalt, they've got jet alt as well so mm. it could be a uh it could be a good round for them this time but it looks like we're gonna have to take a short technical pause coming in for both of these teams maybe one of the players might be having some technical issues hopefully they uh they, they can clear that up without having to restart the entirety of the game yeah that would be uh, ideal here as they do have uh, some some connection issues boom esports mm -hmm. luckily because of the overtime they were able to rectify most of them and start uh, as soon as we could but uh, yeah it's gonna be a pause here for a bit longer so two a piece as we're gonna hold on to the heavy armor there for sushi boys instead ag they're going to make the call to go back to more of a full eco as we will get unpaused all right so now that they're coming back up here i think we could we, we're gonna have a little bit of time to because a lot of uh, to talk about like a breach in this map because a lot of teams either take breach or they decide to be like you know what phoenix is pretty good what about jet do i want to bring sage but this time they don't want to bring sage but breach has been super effective getting onto these sites mm-hmm Location revealed here, but boom, they are all over this site now, backing up after finding that ultimate orb yet again. They've really been prioritizing that. Yeah, I don't know how many times they're going to be attacking this B site because it seems like now it's becoming a pattern to them, and hopefully, uh, boom, start picking up on it. They take out, ooh, they take out the owl, owl drone here. This is going to deter them from actually pushing any for, uh, any more members forward. Mm -hmm. We do have a jet operator though holding outside showers. The jet v jet matchup. Who's going to win that one? The peak unsuccessful. So that's going to force asterisk all the way back into baths. Mm. They're really taking their time with this one. Both teams don't feel like losing too many, uh, losing too many. Uh, start, sorry, take too many casualties yep. in this case. So yep. they're just playing really passive, especially when you're on the de uh, on the defense. You really don't have to do too much, but kind of just wait for the time to pass by. And the default plan coming out of boom here. Oh, sorry, from AG here on the its regular spot. After shock is it gonna kill him. Oh, he's already got the bomb down. He did his duty. Okay, okay, he's already got a smokes as well. Unfortunately, no stim, but you know, that's the best thing you can do at that point in time. Mm hmm. It's gonna be a 5v4. Of course, the weapon advantage over to Boom Esports, but they might be able to actually get a few kills here, a few picks onto the side of AG. So they will be forced back now, Molly, and the boy, uh, places as ADR King is going to be shot down there with the Sheriff. Double kill as well. As, oh my goodness, AG actually the, with a one man advantage now, all of a sudden could potentially take this down to the 1v1. As Astro with the knives out, he's oh. gonna get nuked. And it's gonna be a thrifty, a huge round for AG because now they're gonna have such an economic advantage. Yeah, they have just really crashed the economy coming in from Boom here. But at least, you know, they've evened up the score a lot more compared to what they were before this, where they were playing really with nothing much, uh, nothing much, not even expecting to win the round. How the heck do they have so much money now? Asterisk is just, yeah, whatever, another operator for me. Just another one, just take it, take it. Uh, I just well. put it on my tab, right? <laughs> No, I don't know. I mean, hey, well done to Boom, I suppose, actually stockpiling quite a bit more money than I anticipated here. Uh, but that will help AG's economy a lot, right? Because they're able to escape at least with a rifle for themselves. So it's going to save them around 2 to 3k credits, even more if they actually snuck out an operator. Mm -hmm. Yep, Iron King is going to be hiding right by the B-side teleporter here, but here it comes. Whoa. Here it comes. Oh? Did they not activate it? I didn't see any activations so, uh, on the map. Mm hmm. Interesting. But Breach, he could be a little bit more. He could decide to be a little bit more aggressive. But I like the angle that he's holding. The only place that's going to be really compromised is if they start coming through caves. And most of the time, teams just don't go through there. Yeah. 
It's like uh, it's like the meme, like we don't do that, you know. We no don't one, do that. No here. one really does that. Caves, is, it's kind of cursed, right? <laughs> yeah, unless they are looking to kind of protect uh, any lurkers coming out through shower yeah. side. I, those are the situations that even even me in pub games, I just can't believe people are sitting there in, in caves. Speaking of lurkers, notorious here checking his angles. He's got actually the rest of the team basically right behind him. Now they're gonna start running with those footsteps. He's gonna be able to find the backliners now. A great flash onto one is gonna force him to take up. His plant is going down. A great flash. But Hey, he's gonna be able to trade him down. Mm -hmm. This is gonna allow his the rest of his team to start rotating out. They're a little bit slow on this, so the post plant position, especially when they are looking to lock oh. down from U Haul side as well. Oh boy, Hellfire's coming yeah. down a little. <laughs> oh no, he gets taken out. That's two people yeah. evening out the score, leaving Jet all by herself. I was to say, if this Brimstone can realize actually that they're centered in U Haul, that is a death trap for these players. But they're gonna get caught out. AG now with the operator. I think they're gonna try. And save here if they can. 10 HP and a dream here. The Fushi Boys bomb will be diffused. He lets out a shot just to let him know, hey guys, I'm over here. Mm -hmm. But he'll be able to save and hold on to that operator. Three to three. I mean, even if even though you do have an operator with 18 health, one bullet from anything, just a whiff. Yeah. Even if it's shot at your toes, you will go down. Yeah, yeah, and and that's right. The strength of the operator, though, right? It, mm -hmm. I I try to compare it to uh, some other RTS games where it's like, hey, in most RTSs, you know, uh, most of your units they do full damage if they're at one HP, and and it's all about time to kill here in an FPS game, right? So that operator time to kill is basically limited to your reaction time. Mm -hmm. Compared yep. to other weapons, which that's not only the case. Oh, here they're, do they're doing the setup every single time. They're making sure they are attacking B. They see the smoke come down every single time. Grim makes sure uh, a lot uh, makes sure that his Phoenix or you know himself is able to take that off alt orb without too many problems. But yeah. forcing, unfortunately, oh. forcing that Phoenix to go. Hunter's Fury does come out as well as they look to push into sight. Did Phoenix take the port and pick up the other ulti orb? Yeah. That's interesting. Okay, well, they're going to re relinquish control over this site then over to AG, who will be setting up very nicely for, uh, make that a one-man, rather, advantage uh, as they've now set themselves up. Boom, rotating in from the defender spawn on board now with Notorious, who's actually in a hookah. He's got one lurking behind. He's got the idea, but he might not have the peak necessary if indeed he will not. Caster's Curse, Tay is going to find the kill there. Two to four, and I think Boom going to make the call to save. Yeah, they're going to be... They're, they're in a great position to actually back out of this. They don't oh. necessarily have to do anything, but Jet holding that position, waiting for some exit frags here, but it looks like the rest of the team coming in from AG <laughs> won't be going through spawn side. Yeah, someone pings it who's dead. He goes, yeah, by the way, don't peek there. <laughs> <laughs> don't go there, please. <laughs> Don't go there, come on, man. And they're not even going to go through. Oh, they will go through the teleporter. Jet. My goodness, Sushi, he's just insane. It's such a risky play to be making. Obviously, you, you heard someone go through mm -hmm. that teleporter. The Phoenix is missing, so I can't believe he actually committed for that. Well, I'm, I'm just glad that Art King didn't really get punished because there was no way he was crossing back into yeah. B-side from there. So taking the teleporter was basically his only option. That's true, yeah. Now, you, you raise a good point. It'd be kind of crazy if Phoenix was actually still just chilling in that teleporter after like a full <laughs> minute he's just waiting it's like don't worry guys they'll eventually come nah, don't worry he's in it for the long haul you know <laughs> it's a long con i should say oh. uh, but hey i mean this looks like we might be in for the long haul rather gideon uh, what's your opinion on overtime oh well i really hope it doesn't happen this time around but because <laughs> they are starting to adapt i mean boom Aster i mean boom's asterisks now they're getting three people down <laughs> on this sea long side there's no way somebody's going to be picking this without dying yeah and i think now they've given the ulti orb over to the breach so he's gonna have that uh, rolling thunder available well that rolling thunder is gonna be a big big play oh, wow. once again getting a little too over eager there they are playing for picks coming for the side of ag but it's still one to one uh one to one casualties and it's still anybody's game yep out of what I really like about ag is they don't put their operator oh sorry 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 that's boom I'm mistaken well, well, they're going to be starting to clear out U-Haul here. The default plan would be ideal, but not until Sova doesn't stop slowing them I down. He's hiding exactly right in the middle of the smoke as well, and he can't really cross as well. So what are our, what, what's left for his options? Yeah, AG, they're going to be forced back there after the Cypher ult. He gets dropped. Blaze King in a very precarious situation, but he does have a teammate now protecting that peak. One in U-Haul, you can almost always guarantee it as the Molly will force him here towards that smoke. But he, oh my goodness, the Ray is fighting the Two kills here. Very nicely done. Will boost himself up to heaven. It's going to be up to the Phoenix now, who lives yet again. AG. Sushi King is just not hitting these op shots now. 
The mm -hmm. second will ring out, Gideon. Yeah, I mean, as long as he's just holding his position here, they can't really come out through that way. He shouldn't have been looking to peek. He should have been looking to go for the exit frags. But unfortunately, that's going to be the attacker side winning as AG continue bringing it three to five. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now the economy for Boom, it's looking okay, but a loss here is then going to put uh, AG up even further than they're currently, probably up to four at three to seven would be looking like. So this is going to be a really important round here for Boom. It is going to be mostly a full buy here. We do see a Spectre and Light Armor there on the Breach, uh, but he does have that ultimate available. Yeah, I will say though, Sushi Boy, uh, Sushi Boy is definitely playing a little bit more differently than how he did in his previous best of two. He's a lot more conserved, really just takes his time, a lot more patience compared to when he was on overtime, looking to continuously get that pick aggressively. Okay, Sushi, I like it. Confidence now regained here as he's gotten, I think, two picks in the last round. And, well, one to start off this one is going to be beautiful here on the attacking oh. side. And why not a second onto the enemy operator? That's so much money down the drain there for Asterisk and a site completely available for the taking now. Only one uh, remaining member for Boomy Sports holding it, and it's going to be the Phoenix now on board with him over in Baths. Yeah, and they've already got the Cypher just sitting, waiting, taking his time in a safe place as he's going to slowly push up. So the rest of the team tries, but unfortunately, coming into B site, they're going to be taken uh -huh. out. Mom's going down. He's not going to have vision actually going through the smoke spike being planted. There we go, getting the kill onto one. Tried to get out the uh, flash, but he's immediately put down instead by the Vandal of Tay. Mm -hmm. Now, going into the drone shot, we got a better idea of how closed off in terms of just the field of vision yeah. from every single side. I mean, even Showers is still compromised, but now Cypher is pulling back out to join the rest of the team on a short. It's a good plan. I'd be curious to see how much utility we have left. That's all that plays King has. Do we have the two shock darts out from Tay? Plenty of movement out as well from Sushi. So this should be a round win for AG as Boom make the call to save. They're going to evacuate the safe routes and uh, hold on to those guns for the next round. Mm -hmm. All right, nice play coming over uh, overall, coming in from AG, making sure that they are winning this round confidently, and also shoot Sushi Boys getting some really good picks. Yeah, definitely. I mean, that round was basically, I want to say, won by Sushi Boys. Uh, they, they only lost one after they took the site. The Phoenix then put down immediately after, and those are the only three kills they got, really. Uh, Boom Esports is really in no financial position to, to continue going any further here. As you can see, not everyone is actually able to afford a real gun or heavy armor here. I think, uh, actually, Asterisk is super mm -hmm. poor after buying an operator two rounds in a row, I think. So very little money to be playing with here. But uh, Boom Esports now down by three here going into the 10th round let's take a look here on board with super sis to see if he can turn it around Jump with the spin mm -hmm. now they're gonna peek but unfortunately sushi boys gets the first initial pick making sure that he's watching that angle unfortunately run it back it's not gonna be enough this time mm -hmm. he's, he's, i don't think he's gonna go for the teleporter again oh, and no. that's going to be a little kept taking out boom yeah, blaze he, king he didn't need to go through the teleporter but i think he baited his teammate he only actually saw the jet he didn't see anyone else actually peeking that far ahead, so they actually felt pretty confident in leaving Hookah and peeking over it to be short, but that really ended up hurting them. Now they're gonna go two down and another uphill battle here for Boom Esports. And finally, utilizing the unique traits of the map, yeah. taking the teleporters to jump onto A site here because Boom are lacking the members that actually defend both of the sites at yeah. the same time. Now it's going to be a huge problem, but maybe Asterix can make the play with his ult. Does have the knives here. Ooh, oh, 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 I think he was in his camera or yep. something. Hello there, there sir. How you doing? Oh, these kids these days always looking at their phones, Gideon. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, that also means that a huge rate of fire going to be dropped by, uh, going to be dropped by Brim. Oh. One more has been picked up by Asterix. Can he actually pull this off? He does have that Phoenix to help him as well, but he's saying his he's moseying his way on over here. Actually, he's going to go for the save instead. Asterix was like, come on, man. I had that. We had that. But in Instead, Phoenix looking perhaps for some entry, exit frags and actually going to be going, taking a trip all the way into caves, Gideon. We don't do that here. We don't do that. And you can see Silva respects that. He's like, nah, I'm walking back to site. Wow. I'm not going through caves. We don't do that. We do not go through caves. <laughs> Wait, is he actually, one more second? Okay, all right. Okay. No more frags. Whew. That would have been super unfortunate if he did went into caves. Or at the very least, he was much further down into caves mm -hmm. to at least get the exit frags from people coming out of showers. Bang. No, he's just like nothing. I just literally double taked there. He's like, is that real? I guess they really <laughs> didn't know where exactly Phoenix was. He did take quite a lot of time coming through, uh, coming through B, getting into A through short. And, oh, I mean... I, I wouldn't have expected it. I would have expected them, like, if they're taking that long, they're probably sitting around showers, they're sitting around the teleporter, something at least. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm.
I really like I really like that playing with the the spices for the map starts. Reminds me of uh, ringing bells on some other titles hot maps. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they've already picked up one alt orb coming in from Boone. Uh, yep, both our drones are gonna be out, and now the recon bolt wow, has tagged them boy. as they look to go for another oh my pickup. God, he almost got the penetration, but now there's gonna be a double kill going in for Arn King. He's gonna flash one more time. Show stopper, 14 HP. They gotta zone him off of gardens. Nicely done. I mean, really overkill for that guy. It's like, not only did you dink me through some metal, but you're gonna hit me with a show stopper. Really? The sushi boys, he's not done quite yet. He wanted that second kill there, and I'll have to settle instead for the breach as Peking will be Cypher. Asterisk is ready for that one. That's a 2v2 scenario. The spike is actually been dropped here, so Boom Esports actually still in a pretty good position. They're going to smoke off the connector as walking through the smoke will be raised. Probably just about bumping into Asterisk. Uh, How did they not see each other? Uh, oh, a little awkward there as Asterisk is going to be able to yeah. kill. What? Come on, boy. What? What is this? Oh, 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 I mean, oh, both sides are going in, but the end of the day, Arn the King, finally, he was just creeping around waiting for this to happen. But I think Sushi Boys, he played that well. He knew he was trying to rotate back into Phoenix at the end of the day. He just needed to bring it all out in the open. That was kind of <laughs> unbelievable, to be honest. It's like, look uh, at that. Oh. I mean, look, you know, that's reliant on uh, that's actually the second kill, of course, which grabs you another uh, active utility, right? So you're yeah. able to dash away and uh, right into the hands of another enemy, win the duel there, and potentially make it a little bit closer here at the half as we're looking for Boom Esports to go 5 and 7 and uh, just to swap. Yeah. Oh my goodness, that's an aggressive yeah. peak coming in from Boom just to make sure that Sushi Boy, uh, Sushi doesn't actually get a pick this time. Good, good, good. The adaptation mm. coming in from AG. Mm. Hey, sorry, from Boom. There we go. Now, maybe considering the flash, it'd be well advised here. If only he knew how many people are actually coming his way. Now, walking on over is going to be the Brimstone. Oh, the flash will come out, but he doesn't actually need the vision. He will be traded away by the twin as Sushi Boy is winning the operated duel there onto Asterisk. Boom Esports, though, rotating back through window. They're going to be able to get the kill now onto Rage, who's holding on the site. Three ulties now available, as that's going to be not mm -hmm. the little strike, just instead. Some yeah. Oh, oh, wow. wow. Beautiful stuff there. What? Okay, all right, and now here it comes. Orbital Strike is gonna try and completely zone them off. The moment the spike has been found on the map, you can immediately see the rotations from the breach trying to get onto the B site. And Brimstone, he's confident. He knows exactly what he has to do to kill this time. And we do have still two smokes available for Sushi Boys. It's 70 HP here, no armor, as plenty of smokes being dropped instead here by the breach. They know that there's left. a very good chance that someone's gonna be coming from behind. Is that appears to be just a little bit of a cyber cage. Not really setting up too nicely for on one way, but it is going to at least make this round a little bit more fun. Oh, oh, no, Sushi Boy's remanding. very aggressive, and now it's down to the 1v1 Gideon. Yeah, let's see how this goes. It's going to be a battle from Gardens, but this time they're going to be dropping the all for left. one man to make this happen. Don't miss your shots, and there it goes. Notorious comes out victorious. He was not going to lose that. Yeah, Switching yeah, sides. good uses of the, I mean, you know, you're about to go for the switch, right? So there's no reason to save your ulti points, right? You might as well cast your spells and get your damage done. A very good round from Boom Esports. So we go now five to seven. So we take a look at some of the stone walls. Now, as you can see, even our observer does not go into caves. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's just a general rule. It's a mm -hmm. respect thing of like, mm -hmm. man, this is not efficient. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But now that these teams are now switching sides, I would like to see AG going on the defense and how hard they can actually deal with Boom, because Boom overall, their attacks have been pretty nutty overall in this entire group. Yeah, no, that's definitely true. Uh, we've seen them a lot on the defensive side, kind of get baited out as well. Uh, Asterisk, I have to say, he is a threat. He is an aggressive jet operator. Mm -hmm. He's not just looking to peek you mid. He's looking to rush you down through A and kill your backliner. So let's see what they can get done now as in their first round. They're going to stack up pretty heavily here towards A short and scout the raise in you two all. Mm, dropping the cage. Oh, wait, looks like they're going to be coming through U-Haul side. There's not enough smokes to set this up yet. Yeah, Breach does the aggressive peek first nice. as they come through U-Haul on the backside. They need to watch spawn. They haven't even checked heaven just yet, but they assume nobody is there. They drop one more smoke. They don't have armors, but they're already dropping the spike. 
Indeed now as we see Deku rotating on through Sushi Boys though picking up kills here lurking from behind now trying to go through bats where someone is actually watching there 3v3 scenario here is we're on board now with Blaze Kings to see his teammate die through the smoke doesn't know where that shot came from Tay still on site here perhaps in some danger still lurking through the showers oh no oh. Jubert sis oh wow what a shot here now as it's going to be one left for AG to try and get the advantage here, but not going to happen. Blaze King, more like Clutch King, as he's able to get plenty of kills here and get him one round closer for the 6-7. Could that timing be any worse? You're thinking, you know what, I gotta cover both of these angles, so I gotta look between them. I look at showers, and all of a sudden, the one guy I know for a fact in U-Haul peeks out at the mm. exact same time. I mean, I gotta say, though, I mean, there's, there's credit to, to Boom there as well, right? Because they force him back out of cover. The guy from U-Haul then takes that opportunity to peek. It, it's, it's, I think, just quite effective. Uh, mm -hmm. It was quite effective push there out from Boom Esports, right? They don't let him retreat because they make sure that they have the guy ready to be able to cut off the attack in a pretty relatively safe place. Um, and as here we go, as we like to see, AG setting up a very aggressive play here in Hookah. Plays King, setting the Owl Drone. Quite low here, he's in a Scout 1, he's in a Scout 2, and well, that's not going to be anywhere uh, where they want to be. But look at this, Boom actually rotating from behind. Oh so my aggressive. god, the Phoenix so aggressive into the smoke. They're going to actually scout each other. Lots of bullets sprayed, but very few of them actually connected oh. as Tay will be able to punish that now with the Shorty. Three versus three here. As all other try the shorty is actually working out a little. Kip unfortunately going to be going down to Supersies as he's looking to try and pick him up with the ghost. Twenty-one HP. This is oh. going good, and it's now a one v one situation. That oh, oh Deku nice. won't be able to win there. Good shots coming in from Blaziken. Yeah, I think that just comes down to of course winning the round, going for that risky play, the light vandal, the light armor vandal, right? But at least you can wall with it. And uh, I don't know. I think I actually would have liked to see a shorty there come out instead for AG, mm -hmm. especially on a map like this where you know maybe you get luckier and your enemies kind of just rush into hookah right it's a very nice area for you to play with a shotgun uh the shorty just incredibly nerfed right mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. but a few mere patches ago so i think uh i don't know i'm just a fan of the shorty anytime i can you know try and call out or even <laughs> name drop it i'm gonna do so is this gonna be a tight corner to peek then a scout one Ooh. the operator from sushi is oh. perfect <laughs> a little kept unfortunately trying to go with a follow-up peek here just for sushi boys to buy some time but unfortunately he just came back with a hail of lead mm. from all four members coming in from boomers they continue to attack a site here sushi wow. oh asterix he finds the he finally finds a kill onto sushi boys so no more uh no more operators for the side of ag Man, i'm really surprised that asterix didn't know that spot there for the jet you know you would presume it takes a jet operator to know another jet operator but completely Still. scoped in and didn't even see that one coming i mean he's gonna learn from this you know yes. he never yes. make the same mistakes twice and now this round is gonna be ended up pretty quick as boom takes it eight to seven yeah their attacker side is some pretty scary stuff for sure like you said earlier gideon right that's gonna be plenty of rounds in a row i think we're gonna have to eco now here right for here. the side of ag going back to the shorties there we yeah. go. There's the Bucky now for the race. And a dual Bucky. Are we going to see five Buckies here, my friend? Sending the energy. Give me your energy, chat. I need you to spell Buckies in chat. So that's uh, you can help out AG here, but I think two of them might just be enough to be honest to secure the round. Yeah, I think they just want to kind of maintain as much eco as possible. Like Sushi Boy, for an example, he's been buying a lot of Get operators, of so there's way. no reason for him to actually go for the shorty because he's mm. going to be yeah, even that, more that in that a deficit. Sense. Makes sense. Camera is going to be blown up by the shorty. Are they still going to take that angle with the shorty? It's a little difficult now. The running back activated. He's going to get absolutely blown up, trying to go through aggressively. There's now a Bucky inside of U-Haul Gideon, and that's going to be the first kill with it. Yeah, they're like, absolutely not. <laughs> I mean, he's pre-firing here, but he's going to get flashed up a jillion oh. times, but he gets behind cover just as Breach is about to be. He loses 75% of his HP right, got now. got Bucky kill, by the way. Oh, are they going to be able to pull this off? Oh, no, he's still in the molly. He's going to get out, out of there as they transition and utilizing that TP, even dropping the spray. It's like, hey, we went through here, by the way, just in case you go through. Nice yeah. job. The ports holding them back as the Bucky shells were chasing them into that teleported. But Asterisk here, he is quite nice and set up, daring anyone to leave now. Of course, Spike buying planted. a Bucky, you've got really no reason to save it, so they're going to be playing very, very aggressively as they will cross over once. Deku one now one with the shorty there. back. Oh, wow. Two for one special there. Tate will be able to trade him with the stolen Vandal. Drop the Bucky. Picks up a third kill there before Asterisk is able to nuke him with the Operator, and it's going to be the ninth round for Boom Esports. And that's the, that's kind of the
of the issue with that when you have a shorter yard bucky you got to play yeah. these really tight angles you got to play for hookah you got to play for uh u-haul and you can also play for backside a b down by elbow those are great places to play but those long corridors especially like through uh from b to spawn it's just mm -hmm. that's such a nasty angle to hold and there's really nothing you can do about it yeah, except and, and, to have a ghost and that's how you counterplay against bucky strats right you have to strengthen numbers because yeah you can kill one of our guys but you're not going to steal his gun and you're going to die immediately after so sure it's eco damage done but it's not going to be complete disaster here as i think uh you might sometimes see or at least you're hoping for when you mm -hmm. pick up a bunch of buggies oh it looks like hey, he's going to be pulling up with the hunter spirit to look for some good information and also the counter all as well to oh, wow. find somebody but they do find the initial tag Oh no, it looks, it looks like it almost, it, it looked like it clipped him, but it didn't. Everyone just dropping their ultis here. They're like, yeah, I got my ulti charge, why not? Sushi Boy is picking off two here, back to back with the Operator, and he's not yet done here, folks. He might be able to find a third, he will not, as Blaze King is able to get the flick onto him. Yeah, they are just spilling into this B site here, locking them off from uh, from spawn, and there's just nothing they can really do about it. Brim, he's going to be yeah, checking through right. gardens here, but look at Raze. Will she be able to get through this smoke and actually make oh, a play oh. happen? But unfortunately, she's going to be going down too. Yeah, must have stuck that barrel through the edge of the smoke. They're going to scout that and spray it down immediately. Yet again, we find ourselves in a bit of a rough spot here for the eco. They can buy rifles all around, but the armor situation is not going to be looking too great. Boom Esports as well, with a pretty commanding lead. The economy as well, really in their favor. 10 to 7 here. Hmm, what's the call here, Gideon? I, uh... Bucky's! Bucky's? I guess that would make sense, because what else, what else can they really do? They can hold some aggressive angles like, uh, you know, like showers here as they are. Speaking of showers, mm -hmm. we've got all four members looking to kind of take their time waiting for a pick. Somebody's gonna get impatient. Somebody will get impatient, but asterisk... He's quite the patient one here, usually, especially this game. Kind of shocking, isn't it? Right? Yeah. I mean, both Sushi and Ashes are usually aggressive, but I guess they kind of have some mutual respect for each other. Like, mm. I don't want to die unnecessarily. Definitely. We're going to peek on through here with actually a stinger. That's a really good angle for him to be holding, but he's not going to be that crazy. They continue to smoke it off. They're quite confident there's plenty of people there. In comes the recon bolt, dropping another smoke here, trying to delay this push as long as possible. Finally, the gig is up. Boom, Esports realizes they're going to look to rotate on back not for a wall in a cypher though oh but just look at the way that they're positioning themselves they're walking out of uh, eight oh, boys, sure. going to caves yeah oh uh, mm, they've one cursed more. themselves they've cursed themselves now five people in the caves unacceptable this is this is not a good look this is not a good look for this team i mean uh, look at what ag is trying to do if they, no don't do it yet don't uh, don't you dare do it oh well we've got five people definitely looking oh, to be on the job lucky to live there to be honest yeah I, I thought was, they were gonna get a frag darn the double peek oh he misses the operator shot there asterisk he'll throw down some knives of his own before getting picked off now blaze the king at least is able to get the trade here onto tay though in the meantime is blaze king oh wow Meanwhile, though, Sushi Boys is going to find the wall onto Super Sis as he's going to be now forced out by the Breach Utility, forced to counter, or forced out of his uh, hard scope, however. Mm, it, it was really nice that they had the preemptive fire there. Oh, but now the flashes nice are coming through, but unfortunately, they don't have every eye looking on the site, and they are going to ban out Sushi Boys. He's like, nah, don't want to be a part of this. Uses his tail to him. create the distance. <laughs> Just in case, just in case he's waiting at the back of the corner. Oh, just in case he's waiting, by the way, he is waiting there. Excuse me, have they sent everyone? Are they... Guys? Defuse the bomb? Oh, no, 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 it doesn't matter. They're still looking up for it. Can he pick up that last kill? Come on, Sushi Boys, get that ace! Ooh, oh, there it is! Unbelievable. I don't... What are you... I mean, come on, guys. It's, it's asserting... Dominance. As he jumps back into the teleport. <laughs> hey, remember why I killed you right here? I'm just gonna spray it real quick, just like just in case you didn't know whose tag mark I left, by wow. the way. It's me. That's unbelievable, but of course. We do have still some money to spend here for the side of Boom Esports. They're able to get fully kitted yet again, so it doesn't really look like a whole lot of eco damage done, but a round loss here will oh, be very, nice very stuff. expensive for them here, Gideon. No, Speaking of caves, right? The irony that the entire team decided, you know what? Don't need the bomb anyway. I'm going to run down the other guy who went through caves. So somebody took a coin flip and actually won that. But you have to get it to Sushi Boys. He played that perfectly. Yeah, he did. As we have a Cypher just securing the showers. 
Triple setting up the uh, warning, caution, wet floor signs. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He's got to be real. Oh, he's making sure he's checking for cypher cams. He mm -hmm. doesn't want to be spotted out here, especially since oh. both these duelists are ready to jump on site. They're waiting for the signal here as Brim is going to be setting up the smoke, waiting for some kind of information or maybe even a pick on the side of AG. Yep, pretty standard smokes. They're going to go now and counter smoke there with the cypher cage. They're just running right on in, waiting for them. It's going to be the raise. It's a two for one trade, though, in favor of Boom. They need the bodies here though for AG and the jet is lurking through B site instead so it's the, really a 3v3 3v3 3v2 rather currently in sight as boom are going to finish them off all lit but it's okay because they are still in control of the sites Go and well sushi boys is going to be left to try and defend against the three think, attackers uh, please tell me they're not going to go hunting for him again have they learned their lesson he's gotten up you guys are at 10 hp some of you guys are at 10 hp you don't want to mess this but this time sushi boys is the first to make the mistakes and finally the curse of the cave bites him back. Indeed it does. And that's why we don't throw, go through caves. Mm -mm, never do that. Never do that. If it doesn't bite you back on that round itself, you, you'll feel it later it's on. It's coming. It's always coming here. Now, we're going to be starting off the round looking at Eco. It's looking pretty alright coming in from Boon, but definitely if they lose it for the side of AG, this is going to be over for them. Force buying here for themselves. Still, plenty of decent guns. The only person who's going to be a little bit behind here is going to be a little kept. Nice little picture of some some Let's boys the in the back. <laughs> Me and the boys going is, to the pool. Is that the sushi boys? <laughs> Could is that how be. he got his name? It could be. Tay, in the meantime, he's going to get, he's going to see actually a lot of information. He didn't actually scout the Silva, but now they're going to know a Silva is right nearby anyway, because he's going to throw the Owl Drone out. But Boomy Sports, they're going to take control here of Hookah and Window. Still not a lot of rotations, though, out coming from AG. Boomy Sports one round away, and now we've got plenty of ultis being utilized. They actually jumped right past someone, as they will be able to trade at least one. Didn't want to trade for the Phoenix, of course. Oh. He's going to be right on back as he says oh wait wait for it boom asterix is taking his time for this they pick up the phoenix but unfortunately couldn't kill him in time before wait did, did the alma reveal them yes it did yeah, but the showstopper yeah. is gonna finally profit and not whip this time as moon 1v1 against the ray on oh, uh, 2v1 man. against the rays and attackers gonna be with 13 to 7 well done gg well played to boom for this first game literally went you know nothing <laughs> Cypher <laughs> shot him in the face. Boom. Esports take the decisive 13th round. We're not going to overtime. Not this time, but Sushi Boys. My yeah. goodness. I mean, that, was, that 5K, of course, definitely helped padding the stats there a little bit. Bit silly out from Boom to chase him, definitely. But, of course, the Curse of the Cave will strike back. It's going to be 13 to 7. Look at that Econ rating. 103. Most of the time, you would see 97 in a lot of these games, like the highest you could ever go. But not 103. Man, Sushi Boys really crushing it with six first bloods. He's been getting the picks all day long. And I think even after the fatigue, it seems like you can tell he's warmed up. He's He's warmed up. He's like, oh, that again? That was just operator practice, guys. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about it. Uh, of course, econ rating is going to be damage dealt divided by what each 1,000 credits. Uh, so 103 is very impressive, of course. With the operator, you tend to see these numbers be boosted quite a bit, mm -hmm. but still mm -hmm. definitely very impressive. And that's indicative of really the success rate. Whenever Sushi gets an entry fire and an opening pick or two, like I said, they just kind of take over the round. I mean, for a lot of these teams here, I, I think what's what's some of their biggest struggles is how to play when you've already lost the pick here. And then it really starts coming down to their fundamentals of setting up those crossfire uh, crossfires efficiently because you're not going to have a lot of angles that you're going to be able to cover. So you have to take your most optimal path based on the number of people that you have. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. No, definitely. But Boomy Sports, uh, no real standout performance. I think it was just an overall team effort here. Mm -hmm. Not to say they played badly, because I don't think, I mean, obviously they've won, and I don't think that's that's <laughs> accurate at all. Uh, but, you know, like, Sushi Boys, like, what is this? He, he had twice the amount of kills of his next top fragger, which was actually Taze. Tay, Ooh, sorry. Yeah, I mean, I mean, the rest of the team really were just trying to help him out. And I mean, so, to be fair, Sushi Boy did actually have a, some really great clutch rounds as he well did. that he probably did. inflated his stats as well. And it, it, it was looking good, but, you know, ending it off 13 to 7, Boom doing a phenomenal job playing as a team coming into these sites. Their attack is really solid. Definitely. And their defense is nothing, it's not too shabby either. But we've seen how one or two opening picks, as you have it on attack inside can really open up a site. It's just kind of 
really holding on to it that tends to be the problems for a lot of these teams i think that might be where the meta is still kind of getting forged what kind of agents how much utility you really need mm -hmm. to use which is why i think we see so much of of uh of brimstone on this map right because you just drop three of those smokes and that's kind of all you need to drop for the rest of your team right then the rest of your team has the best uh, the rest of the utility to just delay the defuse well i mean you could also use brim as a way to kind of just slow down your opponents using those smokes the one smokes. by one as yep. we did see in that round they found the spike carrier they killed the spike carrier sat right on top of uh, sat right on top of it and just oh just drop a smoke wait for it count and let's do it again yep. and do it again, and they even orbital strike as well. Yeah, that orbital strike as well. Finding two in U-Haul definitely gonna go on his highlight reel. So we're gonna have highlight reels. We've got one highlight reel of a panel for you. That's gonna be it for me, for Gideon, myself, Seek and Strike for now. But stick around, and we'll throw it over to Avo Plaus and the boys.